welcome to Girls Stampede. Our guest today is Alex Wolf, an engineering manager at Coinbase, which is a cryptocurrency exchange platform. Hi, Alex. Thank you for being here today. Hi, thanks so much for inviting me. Really excited to chat about this stuff. Before we get into our actual questions, I wanted to ask you an icebreaker, which is if you could meet any female in STEM from history, who would it be and why? Oh, it's a really good one. I think there's been so many talented women that have sort of paved the road for anyone to be able to do STEM, especially the way they are today. But to be honest, I'm more excited to meet some of the women who are modern and have been making things. I think uh, Zaha Hadid is at the top of my list. Um, she's an architect, so it's like not technically STEM, but to be honest, I would say she kind of pushed the boundaries of like computational architectures, basically taking like these really imaginative like 3D models that no one thought could be built and like getting them constructed. Yeah, I would have died to meet her. I was like her biggest fan when I was in college. <laughs> That's awesome. She seems like she'd be so cool to meet. Could you briefly really tell us what you do and could you take us through your typical day? So your favorite part, your least favorite part, et cetera. Yeah, so as an engineering manager, I run like a team of engineers on the core product. So a lot of that is like hiring the team. So I go out to recruit people and get them to work for me, tell them what their job is and like pick out the work that they do. Um, a lot of that is like strategy and roadmaps. So especially at a company like Coinbase, where I worked at really tiny companies and big companies, bigger companies takes like a lot of coordination. Like, so for example, my team specifically does like PPP sense. So like how you move crypto around, but we're like the user facing end. And there's like four teams downstream that are built building technologies that we coordinate on. So I kind of work with their leads to come up with a plan of like who does what when, and then I delegate that out to the engineers on my team and kind of manage work in that way. Um, but I'm also doing like career coaching. So people who are on my team, I generally check in with them being like, hey, like what do you want out of your job? Are you happy? Are you getting the mentorship you need? Are you picking up these skills? And then sort of coach them through the problems that make sense for me or like find mentors. So it's a lot of like developing your team, figuring out what they're building. And then ultimately you're on the hook for the engine deliverables. So if the project passes, it's like, um, for whatever reason, it's like, great, you get the credit. And if the project fails, it's also your fault, no matter whose fault it was downstream. So it's definitely like, uh, it's a lot of responsibility, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been really fun. And you've been doing that for two years, right? Yeah. So I switched into management about, um, yeah, two years ago. And so before that, I was like a technical lead. Um, so I was like programming, but just running like the technical plan and not the uh, other side of things. Uh, but yeah, it's been really rewarding to kind of like see people grow. But yeah, my day is just meeting. So if you want to know what engineering managers do, it's just literally just talking to people. It's like a social job. I think I'm like reviewing technical docs and writing them. So there's a lot of reading and writing. Other than that, it's just like uh, really like charisma points. So <laughs> talking to people and collaborating and like aligning on uh, goals. Oh, that's great, though, because I feel like a lot of the time people don't associate engineering and tech with collaboration. I think I didn't know that in school at all, but actually engineering is a super social job, especially like unless you're building something very basic and simple, there's almost nothing that you can do alone. So everything is about kind of like working with people and it's even their codes, like all their really quirky personalities come through. So it's like, how do you put the right people on the right problems? So they're excited to work on it and also uh, <laughs> make sure it's a personality match so they work well and don't fight and tear each other apart. <laughs> that sounds cool though. That's really interesting job you have.